Good morning, my dear students. Today we will discuss about the pain types of the pain. How the pain is formed or generated in human body. Similarly, what is the benefit of the pain? Which neuron is responsible for the transmission of this uh, pain impulse to the brain? Similarly, who is responsible for the detection of the pain? Similarly, we will also discuss types of transmission of uh, impulse to the brain. And similarly, what are the tracks for the transmission of the um, pain impulse to the brain? Similarly, we will also discuss the first, uh, second, and third order neurons. Similarly, we will also discuss the uh, neurotransmitters which helps in the transmission of impulse to the brain. This is the pathway of the facial pain impulse to the brain. And also we will discuss in detail, uh, dear students, we will also discuss in detail the painkillers, the types of painkillers and how the painkillers work. Now we are coming towards the pain. Pain is a basically a symptom which is detected by the human. Dear students, now a question is arise that how the pain is formed in human body. The dear students, the pain is formed in human body due to certain reasons like injury, swelling in body or um, there is an inflammation in the body etc. Dear students, who is responsible for the detection of the pain? Dear students, for the detection of the pain, the body, the special receptors we call the nociceptors. Nociceptors are spread throughout the body except the brain. Now we are coming towards the mechanism of the detection. That how the nociceptor detect the impulse of the pain. Dear students, when for dear students, we are taking an example of human hand. For example, the right hand of a human become injured. I mentioned the right you know, because the sensation of this pain uh, of injury will be transmitted to the left side of the brain because the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body and the right brain controls the left side of the body. Due to this reason, I mentioned the name of the right hand. Dear students, when the human tissue or cell become injured, injured cell release special chemical we call arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid combined with COX-1 and COX-2 enzyme. These are cyclooxygenase enzyme. The COX-1 are found in the stomach. The COX-1 also helps in the function of the kidney and also the function of the platelets. It helps protect the stomach from the effect of the gastric juices. And COX-2 enzyme are found in the origin of the body where there is any inflammation or there is any swelling or there is any injury. Dear students, arachidonic acid combined with COX-1 and COX-2 enzyme and make the prostaglandin. The is separate to detect the prostaglandin and send the message of this uh, injury to the brain through uh, two types of neuron. Dear students, now we are coming to the types of neurons who are responsible for transmission of this impulse to the brain. Dear students, two neurons are responsible. The one neuron is known as type A and the other is known as type C. The type A neurons are myelinated. They have a myelin sheath and their speed is very high. Their speed is about 12 to 30 meters per second. Dear students, the type A neuron uh, transmit and conduct the first high frequency pain impulse to the brain. The second neuron which is called type C and they have no myelin sheet and their speed is also very low which is from 0.5 to uh, 2 meter per second. Now we are coming towards the steps of the transmission of this nutrient impulse to the brain. This impulse is transmitted to the brain through posterior students. The first step is known as transduction. Transduction is the conversion of this mechanical impulse to the electrical impulse. Second step is known as transmission. Transmission is the conduction of this impulse to the brain by a two pathways which we will discuss later on. Similarly, the third step is known as the modulation. Modulation means the suppression or the enhancement of the frequency of this pain or the threshold value. The fourth step is known as the perception, which means the reaching of this impulse to the cortex of the brain. Now we are coming to the pathways or tracts which are responsible for the transmission of the uh, this nutritious impulse to the brain. First one is called the spinothalamic tract, and the other one is known as spinoreticular tract. Spinothalamic tract means the sun, the spinal spine means spinal cord, the thalamic means, means the thalamus. And the tract means the group of exon. In spinothalamic tract, the impulse is transmitted first from the injured hand towards the spinal cord, and from the spinal cord it is transmitted to the thalamus, and from the thalamus it is transmitted to the metrosensory cortex. Similarly, in spinoreticular tract, this impulse is not directly transmitted to the thalamus. 
but first it is the transmitted to the brain stem mm -hmm. now a question is here is what is the brain stem the brain stem is formed by the three components of the brain the one is known as the medulla oblongata the other is known as the pons and the third one is known as the midbrain then these three components of the brain form the brain stem uh, so in uh, spinal reticular system the impulse of this pain is uh, transmitted from the spinal cord to the brain stem and from the brain stem then it transmitted to the thalamus and from the thalamus it is sent to the somatic sensory area of the cortex Dear students, now we are coming the first order secondary and third order neuron. Dear students, the first order neuron carry the impulse from the injured hand towards the spinal cord or from the receptor to the spinal cord and from the spinal cord the second order neuron carry this impulse to the thalamus and from the thalamus the third order neuron carry this impulse to the cortex of the brain. Now we are coming towards the transmitter who helps in the transmission of the this impulse to the brain. Two types of the transmitter helps in this in this mechanism. The one is known as glutamate and the other is known as substance P. These are the two transmitters which help in the transmission of the uh, this uh, nutritious impulse to the brain. Now we are coming towards the benefit of the pain. And dear students, the pain are very helpful for a human because it protects the human body from the high injury and it also helps the human human to call the doctor or to visit the doctor really the, the nature of the pain also tells us about the intensity of the inflammation and also tells us about the intensity of the swelling in the body similarly also tells us about the intensity of the injury of the body similarly it also tells us about the gender the person the locality the socioeconomic condition and the culture of the person now we are coming towards the types of the pain basically there are two types of the pain in human body pain which is coming from the muscles from the joints and from the skin etc we call it the somatic pain and the pain which is coming from the visceral organs like that of the heart from kidney from stomach and from lungs from intestine etc we call it the visceral pain dear students we have another type of the pain we call it the referred pain the referred pain is the type of the pain which is associated with the other organs for example we feel the pain of the heart on the left hand on the left side of the neck on the chest and at the back so this so these pain are called as a referred pain because it is due to the heart and now we are coming towards the pathway of the conduction of the nutritious impulse of the facial region to the brain dear students when there is, there is any injury or any inflammation or swelling in the facial region so it's so it's a sensation is carried to the brain with the help of the trigeminal nerve the trigeminal nerve transmit this impulse to the brain stem and then from the brain stem it is transmitted to the uh, thalamus and from thalamus it then it is transmitted to the cortex of the brain and dear students in this way the, the pain sensation is transmitted to the brain Dear friends, now we are coming towards the painkillers. We are using different types of painkillers like uh, bropin, like uh, aspirin, like penadol, like uh, diclofenac, potassium, diclofenac, sodium, etc. And dear friends, we are taking the example of penadol. Dear friends, the penadol going toward the cyclooxygenase enzyme, we call them COX-1 and COX-2. Dear students, we know that every enzyme have an active site. So the pinball going toward this enzyme and attack with the active site. Dear students, for example, there is an enzyme in the body. So in this case, the arachidomic acid coming toward this COX enzyme to make the prostaglandins. So dear students, when the arachidomic acid coming toward this COX enzyme, so the active site is already occupied by the pinadol and so there is no site for the attachment of the arachidomic acid to attach with the enzyme and make the prostaglandins. And dear students, we have already discussed that when prostaglandins are formed, this prostaglandins are detected by the nociceptors and nociceptor transmit this message through neurons to the brain. So if there is no formation of the prostaglandins, there will be no detection by the nociceptors. And dear students, the prostaglandins are chemicals and made up of pets. The prostaglandins also make different types of chemicals which cause temperature, which cause um, cupping, sneezing, etc. during injury. So dear students, it was all about the pain and painkillers. Hope you enjoyed and have learned something from this. Thank you very much.